Hello. I will be right up. Now, what can I do for you? Alexander. <whistles> Alexander plays a lovely little tune on the flute. mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. I believe I'll take the tinderbox. Very good, Prince Alex. Enjoy your tinderbox and bring it back anytime. Thank you. Alexander holds out the love poem, hoping that the bird will deliver it to the same place she took the ring, in the chance that the receiver might truly be Cosima. The nightingale swoops down, grabs the love poem, and takes it towards the castle. Sing, sing, my sweet. You bring another present. Let me see. It is a poem, Sing Sing. What was it when I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through and binds my heart with links so tight I cannot live without the sight of you? Oh, Alexander. I was hoping he'd return to you. Take this to him while he waits. Hurry, my fleet one. Alexander, I cannot believe you are here, my friend. Please, please be careful. Abdul isn't about to let anyone interfere with his plans. Watch out for Abdul's genie, Alexander. 
and do not do anything rash. I am not without resources, and I will prevail if I can only find some small means of defense. Do nothing to try to get to me. You must not be endangered again for my sake. Greatly in your family's debt, Kasima. Alexander's hand trembles as he reads the note. For the first time in his long search, he has heard her voice again, if only in writing. No words of love, only friendly concern. Friend. Is the maiden merely shy, or does she regard him only as a brother? Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Alexander is standing at the top of tall cliffs. To the north is the peak of a mountain, rising to meet the clouds. To the left is an ominous set of bolted doors. Look, an intruder! Hold! How did you get up here, human? I climbed the cliffs. That is not possible. No one has solved the cliffs of logic in several centuries. And if the cliffs were to be solved, it would certainly not be by a human. I... I didn't mean to trespass. I only wanted to visit this beautiful island. No visitors have been welcome on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain in years. Not since the Red and White Queens had spies in the guise of friendly visitors steal our island's sacred golden fleets. 
but we will not display such foolish trust again. You will have to answer to Lord Azure and Lady Ariel. They will determine what will be done with you. I can assure you, it will not be pleasant. With what trickery did you master the Cliffs of Logic and reach the city of the Winged Ones? Only the magic of clear thought, my lord. I meant no harm. The Cliffs of Logic? It is the sacred oracle's prophecy, Azure. Yes, Ariel. Hmm. It is lucky for you, human, that climbing the Cliffs of Logic is part of a prophecy that I cannot ignore. We have just been ordered by Wazir Al-Hazred himself to dispose of any strangers that might land on our fair isle. But the prophecy would have a different fate befall you. The prophecy predicts that whosoever climbs the Cliffs of Logic will defeat the Minotaur. The Minotaur has violated our sacred catacombs and eats our young in sacrifice. Our own daughter, Lady Celeste, was taken there only this morning as his most recently demanded offering. A dilemma, then. Whom shall I obey in regards to your fate? The Oracle or the Crown? But since al Hazred did not dictate how I was to dispose of intruders, and since you cannot possibly survive the catacombs, your imprisonment there should serve both purposes quite admirably. I will not resist you in this, my lord. I shall do my best to save your daughter. Hmm. First, I must tell you that the catacombs are a labyrinth of rooms, a place of exceeding danger. You will need many tools and clear wits to survive it. I am ready. Very well. My guards will take you there now. You seem courageous enough, but the catacombs will determine how brave you really are. did you tell Lord Azure you were ready and willing to face the catacombs? No one is ever ready, and only a fool could be willing. And you are far wiser, I suppose, to leave a maiden to die? To not fight this plague on your own people? Bravery and suicide are two different things, human. You will have a chance to renounce your choice soon enough, when you lay trembling under the Minotaur's hooves. We shall see. Thanks for the escort. We only escort you to your death. May the fates make it quick so that you do not have to scream long. The catacomb's entrance door is locked from the outside by the winged one's guards. It seems that leaving the catacombs by that door is not an option. All right, so thankfully this isn't like the maze in the other game, but this maze has dead ends where you can die. So, 